Conference Championship Week is here, ladies and gentlemen. We got our Conference Championship matchups set, and I want to go over who I think is going to take the Conference Championship crowns and how I think all this 12-team playoff stuff is going to turn out in the end, how the committee um, will rank everyone really in the end. I'll try to maybe do a reaction of this week's college football playoff rankings to see where they're kind of thinking out everyone. But it was a crazy, crazy rivalry week. We started on Friday night with Georgia and Georgia Tech going into eight overtimes. Really a game that shouldn't even gone into one overtime. Georgia Tech had that in the bag. They end up turning it over. Georgia rallies. And after eight overtimes, Georgia escapes. Um, so we started with that, and then Saturday, a, you know, big noon game was Ohio State and Michigan, and uh, that one was crazy. Ohio State favored over two touchdowns, and they end up losing at home against a 6-5 Michigan team. This was not supposed to be a close game at all. Ohio State goes down, squanders their chance at a Big Ten championship game, at a rematch with Oregon. And uh, Michigan, man, they own Ohio State and, uh, and and Ryan Day so far right now. You know, there's plenty of videos out there covering that whole fiasco, so I won't get into that right now. Just a wild rivalry week with lots of fights. And, like, people were really on edge this week. But um, I just want to go over to the conference championship games. A lot were decided this past uh, Saturday. So, as we see right here, the first one, SEC championship game between Georgia and Texas. Texas is one and only loss, a blowout loss at home to Georgia. Georgia um, really escaping that Georgia Tech game. Um, this one's going to be really good, I think. You know, even, you know, there was a poll on Twitter that said, you know, who you got taking it, Georgia or Texas. It was basically 50-50. Um, this one is in, in Atlanta, so it's more of a home game for Georgia. But you also got to remember, Georgia isn't the best in SEC title games. Um, then, you know, you also have to remember, Georgia did blow out Texas. Um, both teams had kind of shaky last games. More so, I would say, Georgia. Texas, that Texas defense really um, handled them well. And when you think about to that last matchup, with Texas and Georgia. The defense from Texas was holding their own. Bar Beck, Carson Beck was throwing interceptions. It's just that Georgia defense came to play and looked like the Georgia defense of old. That's gonna have to be the same case if they wanna win this SEC championship game. Ultimately, I think my prediction would will be, um, this one's gonna be a lot closer than the regular season, but I think Georgia still will uh, take the win, take the W, and they'll be the SEC champs, they'll get the bye and we'll go over that as well. Another one that I think is going to be close is Oregon and Penn State. Now, um, why I really thought we were gonna get Oregon and Ohio State a rematch um, of the very exciting game, but you know, ever since that game, Oregon has um, turned it up a notch, blowing teams out, no exception against Washington. I was you know, a little worried Dan Lanning not having beat Washington. Um, he does this time, blows them out. Oregon has been by far the number one team in the country. With Penn State, it's it's really weird because we saw what Penn State just did, blowing out their last blowing out uh, their last matchup of the season. And really, it's any you know if they're supposed to win that game, they're a basic lock. They're blowing teams out. But if it's a toss up, if it's against an Ohio State, they lose. They've lost. You know James Franklin against the Ohio State and Michigan's has been historically bad. This one against Oregon, they have not played each other this season. It will be very interesting to see, obviously this in Indianapolis, Penn State, I think a little closer. With Penn State's track record against top, top teams, top five teams, that sort of thing, I'm a bit worried for Penn State, but I think they're gonna put up a big fight. I still do have Oregon taking this one. They're just on a complete roll right now, man. They are on a roll. Um, they have all the talent and, and they've really built from from the offensive and defensive line and they you know You always know Oregon's gonna have the talent on the outside. They also have the physicality on the inside This is gonna be a physical game. I it wouldn't surprise me if this was actually kind of a low-key like low-scoring game I still have Oregon taking the cake here and be, and staying undefeated the one and only 13 and 0 team. The ACC title game. This one was wild with Miami losing to Syracuse. So they get knocked out. It's SMU and Clemson. 
SMU, a relatively, you know, new team to the ACC, they show up and they've done so well this season. They've gotten really under the radar. Clemson, on the other hand, they lost to South Carolina, but they still get in the ACC championship game, obviously, because that was not a conference game. This one, I think it will be another close one. I think all these conference championship games have the potential to be very close. I got SMU winning though. SMU has done very well. They've handled all their opponents, blowing teams out. Their only loss was earlier in the season to BYU. Even if they lose against Clemson, they might have an argument for, you know, like that 12 seed kind of, but um, I do have the Mustangs winning. Now going over to the Big 12, kind of excited about this one, Arizona State. What a turnaround they have made. Facing off against Iowa State, who earlier in the season was a top 10 team. I, you know, I think a lot of people forget that. Then they had some stumbles and they find themselves back in the Big 12 race. Um, they beat Kansas State, really pretty good team, you know, top 25 team, they beat them. Arizona State blows out Arizona in the final game of the season. I like Arizona State. Both teams are on a bit, a little bit of a roll, but definitely Arizona State for sure. It seems like they got a ton of momentum. Um, they're coming off that other last second win against BYU, and then they blow out their rival Arizona. It seems like they're really determined to make the playoff after, you know, a couple early stumbles. They've gotten back on track and they look like a very formidable team. I would have liked to see Arizona State versus Colorado personally. I think Colorado would have brought in the ratings. Arizona State, I think I also potentially would have brought in, you know, ratings if they with playing against Colorado. Really crazy to think, you know, Arizona State, Colorado, two Pac-12 teams that we didn't expect to do as well in the Big 12 as they had. Um, you know, I would have expected, and, and a lot of people would have expected Arizona and Utah to be doing a lot better and possibly in these positions that Colorado and Arizona are. But I digress, Arizona State, I think, is taking the Big 12. Another one I want to go over is the, the Mountain West matchup with Boise State and UNLV. Because winner of that one is, uh, I think, go, that winner of that one, no matter what, even if UNLV does win, is going to the playoff. Now, I wouldn't count out UNLV. They got a pretty, you know, well-rounded team. Great quarterback, um, good coaching. They lost to Boise State, obviously, earlier. Boise State's one loss is to the number one team in the country. I still like Boise State because of Ashton Genty. That dude is just unstoppable. Plus, their quarterback, Matson, he's a really good runner himself, and he, you know, threw for a lot of yards. Their last game, he's been very good. All these conference championship matchups, um, are going to be very entertaining. Here's what I think the final top 12 will be. Number one, Oregon, as I said, I think I like them in the Big Ten Championship game. The one and only undefeated team, 13-0, easy number one. Number two, Georgia Bulldogs. I like them in the SEC Championship game. They do have two losses, but they'll be the second best conference champion in the eyes of the committee. Number three, we have SMU. SMU winning in the ACC, they would be the third best uh, major conference champion. Uh, I got them beating Clemson. They'll end the season 12 and one. And then number four, the last bye, will go to Boise State. This was a real toss up between Boise State and who I have as the next highest ranking conference champion, that being Arizona State. Um, but I like Boise State, I think the committee would rank Boise State a little bit higher. I honestly would rank Boise State a little bit higher. They have, you know, taken care of business all throughout. Their one loss is against the best team in the country. Number four, Boise State. Now, number five, we got te the Texas Longhorns. They would be ending the season 11 and two after the loss to um, Georgia. But going into this championship week, I think the committee will rank them like number two in the country. So they'll probably end up like number five um, then number six, the Notre Dame Irish, Fighting Irish. Got them 11 and one. Obviously they have been on a big time roll lately. Uh, no conference championship game, but got them at number six. Um, they have just been showing out and dominating. They look really good and they're, they're a type of team where you gotta go to uh, South Bend. You gotta go to Indiana and you gotta go play Notre Dame. Kind of a sneaky, 
um, team that could maybe go far in this college football playoff. Then number seven, we got to the Penn State and the Lions. They'll be coming off a loss to the Big Ten champion Oregon. They'll end the season 11 and two. Then we got the Tennessee Volunteers at 10 and two. They'll just be, obviously just be missing that SEC championship, but the committee is still ranking them high. They think they do deserve to be up there. Um, how it has all turned out. Um, they were, you know, on the brink of losing to Vanderbilt, but Vanderbilt's like the best um, six and six team or whatever. Number nine, we got Indiana, eleven and one. They'll also be a team that just misses out on that Big Ten championship. Got them at eleven and one, and then number ten, Arizona State. I think um, by the time Arizona State wins the Big Ten championship, they'll be ranked a little higher. So then they'll end up at number 10 um, and then Boise State will maybe end up at like a number nine or a number eight that's why they get that number four spot if that all makes sense number 11 Ohio State Buckeyes 10 and 2 um, you know obviously no championship game to play but they I think they've done enough and then number 12 the Miami Hurricanes at 10 and 2 as well um, I don't have Alabama in here Three loss team, I, the committee should put a two loss team, Miami. Yes, that loss against Syracuse is not the best. You know, that loss against Georgia Tech, not the best. But you gotta look at it from this perspective. Alabama had some bad losses as well. Vanderbilt, um, Oklahoma, like that Oklahoma loss has gotta still weigh a lot in the minds of the committee. And Alabama, you know, they, they beat Auburn but not by like a ton, not by, you know, like demolishing their rival like Indiana did to Purdue. Ole Miss to, they know, Ole Miss know. Um, South Carolina, you can make some arguments, but they have lost to, uh, I believe they've lost to Alabama and Ole Miss or something like, I think that they've definitely lost to Alabama. So you can't really put them above Alabama. So, that's why I got number 12, Miami. So really the matchups will be five versus 12, Miami and Texas. That, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be an interesting matchup. Um, six versus 11 will be Notre Dame versus Ohio State. That is actually gonna be peak, dude. You know, they're kind of the same regional area. Notre Dame and, and Ohio State will be a very good matchup. Um, then we got number seven versus number 10 is Penn State versus Arizona State. Very interesting one. Arizona State will be on a roll. Penn State, I think, will have lost to um, Oregon, but in a close one. And I think, you know, they obviously have more talent across the board against Arizona State. And then the eight versus nine matchup is Tennessee and Indiana, a Big Ten versus SEC matchup, which should be very good as well. That's ultimately how I think it will and should all go down in terms of who's winning these conference championship games, how the whole playoff will work out. We'll see how the committee ranks these teams this Tuesday. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Peace.